hi guys what it was up this is lovely daddies if you are a certain subscriber welcome back and if you are new here i'm mosa and that's was musa if you didn't know now you know so keep up the vibes and subscribe <laughs> So today, today, we are back, 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 we are back. back. But today, today we got a little cute video or something, something, because the vlogs are just a lot. But today we got a video and it's a red friendship red flag video. Because most of y'all are fake, most of y'all are fake. And I feel like some people do it on purpose, but some people just don't see it the way that you see it, you know. So today we're just making this video to enlighten some people about the friendship red flags if you are heading to high school or you're in high school you should definitely watch this you should definitely watch this because them girls and boys be fake af like they be so fake. they'll be so fake to you yo one day is one day but today's the day that you know what to look out for so yeah let's get straight into the video so the first one that we're gonna be talking to i'm watching these things on my phone so don't mind me looking down so the first one we got is selfish friends guys when i'm talking about selfish friends i'm talking about those friends that never share you share with you stuff like if you go to the tech shop they don't buy you nothing they just you are just i tell you almost lana like like if we're being honest almost lana you don't deserve anything those friends are not your friends, guys. Like, honestly speaking, if we're friends and you know that I don't have money, or if I'm covering you to the shop, you are supposed to buy me something at least. It's not that you must, but, like, consider me. Ask me. If I say no, then it's fine. But don't just go and buy your things. Even a chippy stock. If you're going to the mall, let's, let's, let's say we went to the mall and, like, you're going to do some shopping or you one of your friends wants, wants to do shopping, buy them a Powerade or something, like something or ice cream like it's something i can't just copy you don't even ask me or offer me anything like that's ghetto if you ask me that's ghetto like and a lot of people do that and i feel like if we're friends aren't we supposed to be like sharing issues with each other and all of that like i don't get it i genuinely just don't get it like why are you guys not sharing and i feel like for some friendships it's normal but girl stay away from that stay away from that anyway so the next one we have dishonest friends dishonest friends dishonest friends those friends will lie to you about literally anything and sometimes not sometimes they don't do that but they'll lie to you about the certain things that i feel like as friends we should be talking about like let's say for example i had a girlfriend okay i had a boyfriend and you're not telling me that y'all had a like situationship before so now i have to find out from you thought you shouldn't tell me that that is key information and they'll be like they'll come up with excuses and all of that i'm just saying that's dishonesty to me or maybe it's disloyalty i don't know but disloyalty is the next one dishonest and disloyal friends cut it out cut it out because if you're gonna lie to me obviously you're not gonna be loyal to me most of these things that I'm going to be saying lead one leads to the other. So you better watch the whole videos that you know what to look out for. Because most of, most of the time, if they have one of these, they have all of them. They... Yo, I'm playing y'all. Like, please, man. But this honest friends, like, they'll literally lie to you about anything. That goes back to the fact that they're selfish. Because there's sometimes, like, let's say I don't have money. My friend has money. They wouldn't buy me things because they would lie about it and say, oh, since you don't have money, I also don't have money. Like, you aren't, have to, like, it's like you tell them that you don't have money and they all of a sudden don't have money. Like, that's weird. That is very weird behavior. That is giving a red flag, if you ask me. Because what? We are friends. Guys, mind you, these are your friends. These are your friends. And I've seen a lot of these. I've seen so many of these. And disloyal friends, guys. Disloyal friends are those ones that will talk behind your back. That is not loyalty. If I'm telling you something in confidence, you are not supposed to be telling other people about, like, my business. Why would you do that? 
Why would you do that? I'm telling you in confidence. And you're stabbing me behind my back. And you guys have seen this so many times. And I feel like as friends, there should be a loyalty boundary. Like, I'm trusting you with a certain information. And I don't know, guys. I don't know why you guys like normalizing these type of things. This loyalty is something, like, loyalty is something that in a friendship, Y'all should make it your biggest priority. Whether we fighting, whether we not talking, don't go saying my business to the world. But okay, there's some things that are for the world to see. Like it wasn't a secret. But there's some things that I'm telling you in confidence. And you go and tell your other friends about my business because we are not all friends. So you're trying to buy a friendship with my loyalty. Like that is weird. That is so weird. And people actually do it, like, a lot. Anyway, that next one is a guest lighting friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. Guest lighting friends, if you don't know what guest lighting means, like, I'll put the definition, the, the I've been definition, but guest lighting friends, like, friends that are, like, will literally make a small issue your problem. Like, you are the problem. Knowing very well that you're not a problem, you made a mistake, but the you you will push you on it you brother they will push you on it and make it like it's your problem or you're the problem or you need to do some self-introspection maybe do some self-introspection about your relationship because it's shaky it is very much on rocky land because why as friends why are you gaslighting me bruv why are you making me feel bad about something that i didn't actually do or something that i did and i stood up to it like I have accepted that I did something wrong, but you want to make it such a big deal. Like, this is not a giant deal. Like, it's not Hulk or something like that. <laughs> but it's not as big as you're trying to make it. Like, I did a mistake. You do too. Like, I like those friends are the ones that are always trying to make themselves look better than you. So, stay away, guys. All of these people... If you have a friend like this, if anybody comes to mind when I'm saying all of these things, cut them out of your life. Cut, cut them out of your life because it's going to be a very dirty situation. Like, yo, bruh, if they have these type of, like, characteristics or, like, your friendship has t some type of these, if you guys have a fight, trust that they will bring your business to the table. They will bring an aid out to the world. All of your business, especially the gaslighting friends, yo, yo, those ones, dangerous, dangerous, ingozi, ingozi. That's my look. And then the next one, we have friends that struggle to congratulate you. I'm just speaking, guys. Let's be honest. If my friend is winning, I'm winning also because now she's happy, which means that I get to be happy. Because, like, if we're friends. Most, most of the time, if you have a boyfriend, I'm going to be happy that you have a boyfriend because now you're happy, which means that you're going to be talking to me in a happy way or you're going to always be happy around me. So, that's good. Like, your wins are my wins. Like, or your wins will be for you, but your wins bring me happiness. Understand? Like, as friends, that should be the fundamental relationship. Part of the relationship should be about that. And if you cannot convey that me, Mm, that's weird that's weird and those type of friends let me tell you guys let me guys i'm playing you guys those type of friends those are those friends that are jealous of you playing things behind your back friends that are talking behind your back friends that don't really like you like first and foremost they don't like you they have a motive to do something and they had to be your friend in order for that to be established like Let's say he likes a boy and that boy is your friend. Now she's friends with you so that it gets to the boy. Like, do you understand? Do you understand? But some of your friends, they don't really like you. Like, honestly, they don't like you. They don't like you most of the time. So the next one, we have friends that never check up on you. Friends that never check up on you. As a friend, okay, it's fine for us not to talk every day or every month. Okay, but now if you go a whole month, that's when your friend, like not even saying a uh, simple hi just to see if they're going to reply back. But if you don't do that, I know y'all are normalizing the fact that we don't have to talk every day. I get that. But a whole month, a whole two months, a whole year, and you think we're still friends. That's weird. What if I died? 
What if I'm in hospital? What if I'm crippled right now and you didn't check up on me? Because me, I'm not going to go to my friends and run. Oh my gosh. I was just admitted to hospital. No. You have to check up on me and see if I'm doing well. What if I die? What if I die? What are you going to do? So let me say that this is a two way street. So if you don't do that for them, then they don't want to most probably not do it for you. So don't be surprised. And then those type of friends that, like, when you, like, when something happens to you, I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have. You could have, but you didn't. You chose not to. Like, I feel like not texting your friend is a choice. It's very much a choice. You're not forgetting. Because if you're forgetting, that goes to my next point. You, you are not being prioritized. If they forget about you, you are not being prioritized. You are the tail. You belong to the back. Back of the line. Like, umusilana, like, nobody cares about you like honestly because if we're friends why are you not checking up on me like i don't know maybe i should just put the definition of what friends are as a matter of fact from google but some things mm, some things guys y'all are just normalizing for no reason you go a whole flipping month two months without talking and being with your friends no we can be like Okay, I understand there's some friends that are like far away or like you're busy and all of that. But just a, a simple hi, a simple two minute call, a simple minute call. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Okay, I'm good. I'm just checking up on you. Guys, do that. Oh my gosh. Y'all are just always trying to make excuses. But sometimes it fits. But sometimes y'all had a rift and stuff like that. Unless y'all fought or y'all have beef for something, that makes sense. But if J, we're just not talking J. Another one is like friends that say they're protecting your feelings or they're sparing your feelings but not telling you something. They're lying. They are lying. They are lying. And also, keep in mind, if they say that to you, they think you're fragile. Which means you're weak. Weak link. Because why are you trying to spare my feelings? Don't you think that it's better for you to be honest with me? So you see now, this goes back to the effect of dishonesty. Because if you feel like I'm not capable to take those type of information, tell me beforehand that, Musa, you know, there's something that bothers me, but I don't think I can tell you right now. But I'll tell you as time goes by. Or rather just keep quiet, bruh. Don't say you were trying to spare my feelings. Um, You're trying to protect my feelings from what? I don't know if this is a bit of a controversial topic, but guys, some things y'all are just normalizing for no reason. For real. And the next one, we have friends that never promote your things, like your business, friends that never promote your, like, they just never promote you for anything. Like, if you start a business, if you start anything, they never promote you. So, mm. like, there's some people that I know that they know I have a YouTube channel. Mm, how much y'all how much y'all they never share my things they never ever ever and i'll be like oh must have a youtube channel in real life you almost have a youtube channel this that but you never share my things other people also need to know that i have a youtube channel and i have good content but you're not sharing you're keeping it to yourself like i don't get that if your friend it doesn't even cost you most of the time it doesn't even cost you anything just post it on your status just post it on your story just post it on your twitter or something just post it somewhere like share with your friends at least these people are kind of weird mm, they're weird and then friends that are never available for you but they're available for your other friends or for their other friends like perfect mm. perfect like red red, red red everywhere like that is just so red but honestly if we're friends why do you not make time for me are you embarrassed of me are you embarrassed are you embarrassed of me are you embarrassed mm, okay if that's the case okay then tell me that you i embarrassed you so you could just stop lying to me that goes back to the other part there's loyalty and dishonesty because hmm why are you not telling me that I'm embarrassing? Maybe I could change my style or something. Because I know some people don't like other people's style or they, their aesthetic and all of that. So their face is not communicates like their aesthetics are not communicating. But tell me that, oh, I don't like your aesthetics. So I can't go out with you in public. 
but that's that, that that is a friendship that like you should know you should if you're friends you accept the people the way they are if you want to be friends with me you knew me before we were friends and if you don't need me in your life cut me out of your life like hello hello cut me out of your life if you feel like i'm not good enough to be your friend like guys having friends is not a must so if you don't want me in your life can just gladly go out of your life some people won't gladly go but tell me and then i'll decide if i want to be out of your life some people don't mind not meeting with their friends they don't mind but if i want to meet with you but you trying to act weird about me trying to meet with you that's very weird if you ask me like but yeah just know again back of the line and then y'all are probably never gonna meet if she's already doing that or if he's already doing it y'all are probably never gonna meet <laughs> sorry to say it but another last one is friends that expect you to remove other people from your life because they don't like them why do you okay we friends i get that but you don't own my life i have my very own life and i can do whatever i want because i'm a big girl i'm a big girl i'm a big boy I can do whatever I want and I can talk to whoever I want. You're like not my parents. You're not my mother. You're not my father. You're not my brother. Huh? Huh? Why, why do y'all like being weird? Hmm? Why do y'all like being weird? I really don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. But yeah, those friends, weird as hell. Weird as hell because. What? That was the last one. I'm well, probably gonna do a part two of this because I know some people have also other opinions. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you better sit there and thank you so much, love you. So yeah, so that's the end of the video, and I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your friends, guys. Don't be a fake friend. Share your friends things if your friends share it guys don't be selfish don't be selfish don't gatekeep things anyway guys bye